Hey guys, welcome. My name is Sudhir and I'm with Here Technologies. In this video, we are going to talk about how to generate OAuth credentials in order to access Here APIs. So, let's jump right into it. If you don't have an account already, go ahead and sign up for an account. The best part is you don't need a credit card for this. I already have an account and I'm going to log in with it. Once you log in, you will land in projects page. As you can see, there is one project. Go ahead and click on that. Here comes the project detail page. In this project detail page, you're going to find all the details about the project. The name of the project, status, when it is created, and what are all the usage details. Also, on the right hand side, you will see all the supported platforms. For now, we are going to stick with REST. So let's generate a REST app. Go ahead and click on the Generate App button. Once the app is created, you will see an app ID followed by API keys over two. These are the supported authentication methods. For now, let's focus on OAuth 2. To generate the credentials, go ahead and click on Create Credentials button. Once the credentials are created, go ahead and download them. Because once you close this window, you won't be able to access them again. Now that we have created the OAuth credentials, let's see how can we generate bearer token that can be used to access the here APIs. Now, I have the code in front of me to fetch the bearer token using the generated uh, credentials. Let me walk you through that real quick. These are the libraries that are required. You can install them using this command. I'm not going to do that. I have already done that. And there is a function to fetch the bearer token, and that is divided into three parts. So the first one is the OAuth object itself, where we need to pass the key and secret from the credentials file. And then the second part is the request object, which contains the request URL and the method and the credentials type. And finally, we have the request itself, where we are passing all the parameters. And finally, I'm executing this to get the bearer token. Let's go ahead and copy all the required pieces from the credentials. First, let's copy the key. And then the secret. Finally, the URL. Let's try and execute this. Node app.js. Sure enough, we have the access token and the type is bearer, which has an expiry time in milliseconds. Now, let us see how can we access here API using the generated bearer token. Go to the authorization section and select the type as bearer token. And provide the bearer token here. Go ahead and send the request. Sure enough, we have got the status 200 OK and the response. Note that the bearer token will be expiring in 24 hours. 
your application might want to refetch it again so that brings us to the end of the video thanks for watching